greetings, everyone. Well, it is blazing sunlight. Ugh. Sorry, the cats destroyed my blackout curtains. So we're filming during the day and uh, just have lighting by God today, basically, <laughs> as well as a couple lamps. Anyway, it's package opening time again. Yes, it is Frank Day again, actually. Frank sent... Uh, a few packages which we're going to open up over the course of the next little while, so stay tuned. There's more coming, uh, and this is the first of them. I made sure to number them this time because uh, I kind of messed up the order a little bit last time, but uh, I think we're, we're okay this time. We got it all figured out. Anyway, another package from Frank. What could it be? Let's find out today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Yes, I was holding it like this throughout the entire titles. Not really, I did the thumbnail in the middle. But anyway, let's see what we got. Got quite a heft to it. I don't know, let's see what it is. I don't know. I have uh, a suspicion as to what it might be based on some of the things he sent recently, but I don't know for sure. Let us see if my suspicion was correct. And yes, indeedly doodly, it is indeed correct. I had a feeling, because I knew that this one was out too, we have Volume 3 of Sonic the Hedgehog, the IDW Collection. Yes, excellent. Is there a note here? Oh, it's just a receipt. Okay, cool. Excellent. Well, those of you who watched the previous package openings will know that he sent the previous two volumes in uh, some of the other package openings. So let's open this up here. <coughs> Take a look, see. Yeah, these IDW collections are great. And uh, as I mentioned uh, in some other videos, they've done a whole bunch of collections like this for their various licenses. Excuse me. And the great thing about them is they give you everything in chronological order. They're kind of like Marvel's epic collections where they'll give you like everything in chronological story order. Same thing with these. Um, they did some massive collections of this, like this, for the Transformers and G.I. Joe and their Ninja Turtle series. I don't know if they've done Ghostbusters. It'd be great if they did a Ghostbusters collection like this. They've done some terrific Ghostbusters comics, apparently. So what's this one got? This one has... Um, we've got issues 21 through 32 of the ongoing series, um, plus the 2020... Annual, so there we go. So let's take a quick little peek inside. So these are quite nice, and I mean that the artwork is just freaking beautiful in these. They really have some talented artists working on these Sonic comics. I gotta say, um, there we go. And there's there's the blue dude himself. Very nice. So yeah, I gotta add these to my uh, my bedtime reading. <laughs> I've got, I'm getting uh, quite an increasing stack of comics and, uh, and novels and such from all these wonderful packages that people have been sending me. Um, so I'm going to have my bedtime reading sorted out for quite a while, I think. But uh, yeah, this just this looks beautiful. And they're all on nice glossy paper. And uh, they're about, I guess, magazine size pages. So they're bigger than like standard comic size, but uh, not as big as like... Um, you know, one of those knee breaker omnibus collections. So there we go. So that's uh, volume three. And of course, wah, we have volume two. I had a feeling that's what it was, so I pulled out the other two volumes just before we started. <laughs> and volume one. So there you go. That is the uh, entire collection to date, I believe. I know there is a Volume 4 on the way. I'm not sure when it comes out, though. So there you go. So we've got the first 32 issues. There's a bunch of one-shots in here, annuals, and just all kinds of good stuff. Basically, get your IDW Sonic on with this massive, definitive collection. Never miss a thing. These collections got you covered. And if you'd like to add any of these to your collection, I will, of course, include Amazon links in the description. 
and you're helping to support the show by using those links. And you get some cool Sonic comics, so hey, win-win. Anyway, um, that is awesome, Frank. Thank you so much. Um, I, I haven't had a chance to dive into these yet. I've got like a million things I'm in the middle of reading, but, uh, but by all means, keep them coming because I, I'm absolutely uh, overjoyed to have these in the collection. Um, I just, you know, I think I might have said this before. I wish there wasn't all that legal stink with the, the Archie comics. Uh, I mean, it'd be, wouldn't it be awesome to have collections like this of the original Archie runs? I mean, I know we got, like, the Archive Collection Digests and some some other trade paperback collections and such, but, um, and I got as many as I possibly could between the ones that you sent and the ones that I, I got at the local comic shop and, um, and stuff like that. So between all of those, I've got a pretty good chunk of the Archie comics, but there's still quite a lot of stuff missing. Um, and quite a lot of stuff they didn't get around to reprinting because of the, uh, the lawsuit, the whole Ken Penders mess. But um, thankfully, no such problems with IDW, because IDW actually does their contracts properly, so they don't lose the rights to everything. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, Frank. And everybody watching, be sure to check out uh, the description, not just for Amazon links, but also for a link to Frank's YouTube channel. Because uh, he's a good guy and you got to check out his stuff. And, of course, if you want to see how the spines look on your shelf, just real quick. There you go. More or less aligned. <laughs> They're a little bit off. I think Volume 1's a little bit off. Maybe. Yeah, ever so slightly. But, I mean, whatever. I mean, they, they line up pretty nicely. That's going to look pretty impressive on the shelf. Anyway, that is it from me to you for now. So, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Until then... Sayonara.